Sister, do you want one of these? Please grow big and yummy. I'm yeah. If you ever so need any medicine, let me know. When is it going to get dark around here? Hey, my house is this way. So, Cloud, what's your favorite flower? They're all the same to me. Huh. You sure you want to say that to a florist? Better than lying. Okay. Then what'd you do with the flower I gave you? I, uh... You give it away? I did. Ooh, to who? Tell me. Don't recall. Hmm... What? Thought you didn't like lying. <sighs> well, anyway. My house is just up this path. Mom should be home by now, so I'll introduce you. There you go. That's my house. It's amazing. Up to no good? Rude came by. So, this is my mom, Elmira. And this is Cloud, my bodyguard. Uh, hi. Take good care of her? That's my job. <laughs> or was my job. Yep, thanks. So, Cloud, you gonna head back to Sector 7? Yeah. Then I'll show you the way. Then why'd you have me bring you here? What if the Turks show up again? It'd suck, but I've dealt with them before. Honestly, I'm much more worried about you. What if you get lost, huh? You'd be too embarrassed to admit it, and so you'd just keep on going. Quit acting like you know me. Hey, Mom. I'm gonna go take Cloud over to Sector 7, okay? <sighs> okay. But why not wait until tomorrow? If you head out now, it'll be dark when you get back. Better to rest up here and make the trip first thing in the morning. When you'll have daylight to spare. That's true. She's got a point, Cloud. Hold up. Oh, yeah. I still need to deliver some flowers to the leaf house. Since we have a little time before dinner, you should come with. That wasn't the deal. You mean you want more? Even though you've got a priceless reward coming your way, do you know what I promised him? I'll do it. <laughs> I'll go grab the baskets. Be right back. <sighs> that Aerith, she's a handful, isn't she? It must be tough. No, never mind. Hmm. Right here are my babies.
Do you think we should pick? Any of them. Oh, don't be like that. I know you have an eye for this kind of thing. That's the one I gave you. Huh, it is? Nice try, mister. You can't fool me. I think we still need a few more. Which should we pick next? She said, as many as you can carry, so maybe a few more? We're good now. What do you say? Shall we go? to hurry. We're not under the gun or anything. I'm not cut out for this crap. Sure you are. And when you're done, you'll be drowning in job offers. So, how do you think they'll arrange these flowers? Don't know. Well, we'll soon find out. Get the way or something. I love to see lunch's favorites. <laughs> I'll wait out here. Oh, okay. But I might be a while. Why not check out the town? This here's the Sector 5 Community Center. Really? Yep, I helped build the Midgar rest. wouldn't be Midgar without the plate and the reactors. Truth be told, it's really just a place for us old folks to sit and chat. Did you know? This place is 
You heard what they said on TV. I sure hope this catch you. Gramps has been feeling a lot better ever since he heard about what happened. He promised to take me to see the reactor. I hope you will continue to help me gather vital information for my research. receiving all of your future battle intel submissions. Couldn't have finished yet. What'll it be for you today? Take care of my equipment, you hear? The ceasefire was declared five years ago. The scars are still fresh. They were the earlier today, whose parents died in the war, will attack. Thank you. 
come straight home. That clear? Still at it. say that. Sounds like someone spooked the kids. Yeah, two of them disappeared. They ran away after this creepy guy wearing black clothes showed up. A Turk? That's what I thought, but no. It's this guy who's always stumbling around town in a dirty robe full of holes. They say he's sick or something. Oh, and he had some kind of number tattooed on his arm. I don't like the sound of this. I'm gonna check it out. I know someone who fits that description. I'll come with. Okay. Come on. off limits to grown-ups but if we want to rescue them well we gotta break the rules Oats! you're back Eric's come to help yeah leave it to us we'll take care of it from here but there are monsters out there don't worry I've brought a super strong friend along with me. I used to be a soldier. So where's the guy? I don't know. He disappeared and we can't find him. Right now, let's worry about the kids. Come on. You guys have got to hurry and find our friends, okay? <sighs> they ran off this way. Be careful. Where do you think they went? Who knows? They're kids. Nothing to do but look all over. I just hope we find them in time. I'll protect you. I'm pretty good at protecting myself, you know? You're done. <laughs> See ya. See you around. Seriously. Yes. 
Try to stay behind me. That way I can cover your back. Enough. Okay then. Let's do this. That's that. Get him! Enough! Quickly, we gotta save them. All right.
I'll go. Come on. Thank you. That was cool. Uh. <laughs> okay, let's head back. You sure you want to fight? Tifa? What's wrong? Nothing. Is Tifa like your girlfriend? No. Hmm, but she's someone special. It's not like that. More like... I don't know how to explain. I see. Thank you. From now on, if you run into trouble, promise me you'll find an adult, okay? Okay, I will. And here, since you're so cool, you guys are both grown-ups, but you're also one of us now. You can come and play here whenever you want.
You must be from the legendary. Ha! Pretty damn similar. Huh? There's the number, but why two? Who knows? Come to think. <laughs> the reunion. Sephiroth is. Do you? Sephiroth, the war hero? I know he died in an accident five years ago. They said so on the news. Maybe they did. But I've got a feeling he's still alive. Oh, right. Come on, let's go. Huh? Hey, wanna be in a play with me? want to become strong just like you. Hey Cloud, I know a lot of people around here need help. When I'm out on patrol, a lot of them tell me about their problems. Do you think you might be interested in helping out? Well, I'm all for it. We still have plenty of time. I'm on the clock. Don't worry, I give you permission. I always have the latest information. Come find me if you want to know. There's a lot of problems we can't fix because we're just kids. And that's where you come in. Oh my, is that a Moogle? You can see me, Koopa? Then you two must be very, very special people. In that case, welcome to the Moogle Emporium. I'm the owner, Moggy. You must not be familiar with Mog the Moogle. It's a pretty famous fairy tale. Mog wanted to bring happiness to all the Moogles of the forest. So he decided to open a shop of wonders. That's right, Koopa. I open a store to bring happiness to the slums, like Mog. And you know, only people with the purest of hearts can even see Moogles. Uh, are you talking about me? Well, Moogle magic isn't perfect, Koopa. Anyway, we've collected all kinds of rare and wondrous goods. They can be yours if you've got enough Moogle medals. But they'll need to buy a membership first. Spend them here, Koopa. So, Moggy, what do you do with the medals we give you? Well, you know what? I use them to make everyone happy. That's the duty of every Moogle. Of course, just like Mog the Moogle.
I see you're working hard, Mr. Merc. Yep. So what are you gonna do next? Keep on working hard. As you always do, I'm sure. You know, this is how I earn a living. Huh? Really? I thought you were just doing it for fun. I suppose some people do. Hello, I'm some people. Nice to meet you. Welcome to the Moogle Emporium. Thank you. 